Cosmetic surgery is a controversial topic and issues being discussed over every meal and tea of purse as it concerns women, aesthetics and beauty. It's fast becoming a norm in some part of the world when you talk about body enhancement. To some, it enhances beauty and health, while to some, it is a death sentence. Welcome to your thoughts. Today, we will not be having this discussion alone. We have a professional in the house to talk more on the professional angle. I am Anne Onwebiak, and I have with me to host this program, Ruth Besson. Welcome to the program. Thank you, Anne, for having us. It's a pleasure to host with you as usual. All right, let me introduce our guest to you. He is Dr. Chukuma Chijuki, a board-certified consultant, plastic reconstructive cosmetic surgeon. He has, he has been a fully registered medical practitioner over 14 years. He also spent over seven years training in plastic surgery. He has backed several fellowships. He is fellow of the National Postgraduate Medical College of Nigeria and fellow of the West African College of Surgeons. He is also a member of the Nigeria Association of Plastic Constructive and Aesthetic Surgeon. Welcome to the show, Doctor. Thank you very much for having me this morning, your show. All right. Um, let me ask you a quick word, please. Uh, um, I was having a conversation with somebody and the, 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 the person was unable to differentiate a plastic surgeon and a cosmetic surgeon. Please, can you throw more light? Yeah, um, yeah, there is that common confusion among both terms, um, plastic surgeon and um, cosmetic surgeon. Um, let me start with plastic surgeon, which is what I am. Um, um, plastic surgeon is one who has spent um, a certain period of time doing residency in plastic surgery. Residency is a program where one is trained over years, usually six, seven years, to become a plastic surgeon. So it's actually a very tedious, long training. Again, plastic surgery is more encompassing. There are different subsections of plastic surgery, including aesthetic surgery, you know, other subsections like microsurgery, hand surgery, you know, and, and the rest of them. So, in other words, aesthetic surgery or cosmetic surgery is like a subsection of plastic surgery. So, plastic surgery, in other words, is a more broader term and encompasses cosmetic surgery too. Okay, why cosmetic surgery or cosmetic surgeon is one who who is a doctor, has to be a doctor first of all, but you spent a, a more limited time, let's say you've attended a program, maybe three months, six months program to um, get exposed to cosmetic surgery, exclusively cosmetic surgery, not other aspects as more encompassing when you talk about plastic surgery. So, that's the difference. All right, let's okay. delve into the, the business of the day, cosmetic okay. surgery. We are going to narrow it down to liposuction. Okay. Why do you think, why can, why do you think you advise somebody to go for a, 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 a liposuction? Well, there are several reasons people um, have for coming in for liposuction. There are several of them. Um, one of the most common is enhancing the outlook, having a, appealing body contours, you know, the shape, having more appealing cloth fittings, you know, um, you know, like what people would say, your body, your appearance is your brand. So what people see first about you, a lot of time make a lot of impression on people. So people want to have the best impression on people at the first instance. So um, also some people come, they want to improve their self-confidence, their self-image, you know, they want to look good to themselves. Occasionally, people, occasionally people come because um, they want to attract um, a more um, favorable partner. That's, no, but that shouldn't be. That <laughs> that's being vain. That's, that's, that's being vain. That's risky. Yeah, some people want 
because you might end up doing all of those things and at the end of the day you will not look appealing to the person who yeah, you are trying this to find is actually a, a wrong reason to do so because at the end you may not achieve it and then you may be disappointed yeah. but generally um liposuction you know improves the the contours improves your appearance you know um so that's that's these are the reasons why people come for it Okay, Doc. So while there are so many reasons why people have their bodies done, and then some people are, let's say, saving because we learned the, the procedure is very expensive. It's quite expensive. And then we know that, okay, while most women have had their bodies done, there are there's a greater percentage of women who are saving for this procedure. And um, some have said that men are not left out. So is it true that men can also have their bodies done? Yes, yes, definitely. <laughs> definitely. Men are not left out. You know? The men also want to look yes, appealing. Yes, <laughs> so which part of the, the cosmetic <laughs> surgery do they, yeah, I'm sure do you they don't undergo? Want to which that. one? <laughs> Is it for six packs or which <laughs> one? Well, well, um, I know it's more common among the females. But, yeah, right. yeah, but men also come for, uh, for liposuction, yeah. including... You know, we can create six packs. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> we can. My we mind can, is telling you know, me. Can, we can, I can, I can, I can, can come But generally, is not is occasional because the body architecture or structure of men and women are different in terms of where the fat is deposited. For an instance, in men, is more deeper, is inside the abdomen more more of the time, when compared to women, where the fat is more just under the skin. So women tend to have more, much more um, outcome than men. But occasionally, if you have a man who have more fat just under the skin, he will benefit more. Okay, so that's that's just the reason why, uh, for me to do a liposuction in a man, I have to really look at where the fat is. If the fat is on the skin, good, benefit to be there. But if it's just deep into the abdomen, then. It, it will not give the best outcome. Okay, so just a, a little diversion. I, I, I don't know if you've heard it, but there's this thing that no man is ugly with his money. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, that's true. Yeah, lots of women now, they don't look for money. They, they will that's tell you he's good looking, he has his dark, handsome, broad chested, and all of those things. So they go for those physical So you think women are now well, I'm telling wanting you, more than just the money? Yes, just the money. Well, well, yeah. Wow. I think yeah. the pocket is very beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> the pocket is very but beautiful. But when it takes a good pocket to, to be able to afford a liposuction process. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, procedure, rather. Yes, procedure. Uh, doctor, um, let's talk about the health issues now. We've had lots of complications. Recently, somebody died because of, allegedly, it's not been proved, but yeah. it's, it was all over the internet mm -hmm. that she died because of um, a failed liposuction. What are the health implications of undergoing this surgery? Okay. Well, um... As we all know, it is surgery, and um, there is no surgery that does not have a risk. Mm -hmm. So all surgeries have different degrees of risk as far as there is surgery. Remember, there is also anesthesia mm -hmm. accompanied. So there is risk of surgery, there is also risk of anesthesia. So these are two different risks. Okay. Um, yeah, part of the reason why one should look for a certified plastic surgeon or aesthetic surgeon is to reduce the risk, even though it's not absolute that the risk will be gone, but to at least there's a certain degree of safety when you meet the right person for the procedure. That's one. Two, um, there are a lot of safety measures that are taken, you know, during the liposuction procedure. A lot of it, for an instance, before um, I even accept to do the procedure, you have to be in the right state of health. Okay. You know, yeah, no ongoing illness or unstabilized illness. You know, everything about the person has to be under control. The person is diabetic, the hypertensive, and all that has to be under control. Then you have one of also do um, tests to look at your fitness to undergo um, that kind of procedure. So okay. if, if you're fit, meaning that your safety profile is good, 
Uh, so you can understand. And even during the procedure itself, you know, there are a lot of other procedures. Once you make sure you work with the right personnel, the anesthetist, okay, so you don't have any anesthetic complications, you have to work with the right person. Then after the procedure, good monitoring, okay. have to make sure that uh, the person is monitored. So even if there is complication, it should be detected early. On time. On time, yeah, okay. detected early. It's very important that it is detected early and appropriate measures taken to prevent further deterioration. All right, at what point does the anesthesia fail like you yeah. mentioned you said uh, you've mentioned the other one what else yeah. did you mention there so, it, yes so at what point does this anesthesia fail okay well um there are two different anesthesia that can be used in cosmetic procedures liposuction um, there's also called general anesthesia which means the person will be asleep and there's also called local anesthesia or what we commonly call awake liposuction in which oh. you know yeah we oh, so, so some people actually stay awake yeah. too much yeah. while the yeah. surgery is being yeah. but they are numbed obviously. yeah they, yeah, okay, they're numbed, yeah. Yes. just so, like when i had my cs yes. Yes. exactly so that's the awake okay you know we put um fluid containing um anesthetic drugs in the fluid and then put it all over the abdomen under the skin so when the place is numbed so while it is going on you don't feel anything so there are different um Okay, you're asking why it could fail, yes. right? Yes, at what point? At what point? Well, um, most of the time it doesn't fail. All right. Most of the time. is on rare occasions that it does happen, okay? Um, um, when you are sleeping, because when you sleep, for an instance, you're connected to gadgets that monitor your breathing, your blood pressure, yeah. your oxygenation, right. and all that. So is under strict monitoring all through the process on that strict one the eyes is on the screen okay. you understand so it's strict more so it's difficult to have a failure but occasionally anything can go wrong including okay. the drugs but is there is no definite point where you can say it's it is a point where it usually fails you understand because it's an anesthesia is a progressive thing okay. during the surgery okay. yeah, therefore the local one you are awake so they can have excessive if the drugs are so much in the fluid that is used to numb it, yeah. it can even be detected and measures taken to. Oh, okay, that's amazing. Yeah. Okay, doctor. Um, while there are, they said there are so many procedures. It's not liposuction or cosmetic surgery is a compound word. Mm -hmm. So yeah. there's a popular one that is known as Brazilian butt lift, mm -hmm. BBL. Is it a form of liposuction or mm. it's just one of the several processes Pro yes. associated oh. with liposuction Suction. or cosmetic surgery? Yeah, I know it's a trending thing now. Yes, yeah. 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 The BBL. Because the... I'm even I'm considering coming yeah, for that. Yeah. Yeah. Because I really want to have this. Oh, wait, we have, to, uh, we, yeah. we have to consult the people that own <laughs> well, you. Madam. You do not so, solely have that choice. So, well, so well, well, I know it's a trending thing now. It's all over the media. The yeah. Point to look good you know um like i said earlier there is no, no surgery without risk but even though the risk is somehow controlled in the best of hands that's one two um bbl is brazilian butt lift as she has mentioned it simply means transferring fat you know to the both the fat is gotten from liposuction from any part of the body, usually from the abdomen. Our viewers, well, Dr. John said, but please, for those who don't understand, it is the bum bum area. You understand? Okay. The, that's the <laughs> hip and the bum bum yeah. area, please. Yeah. That's what he's talking about. Yeah, so, so, so the fat is gotten from the liposuction. Processed to remove the water and then sieve out the fat. So the mm. fat, yeah, the fat is then transferred to the butt to enhance it, to make it more rounded and maybe more bigger and more you know contoured so um that's the difference liposuction is different obtaining fats bbr is different the bomb okay. bomb transferring fat to it okay All you right. know there are those there are other procedures where you have silicone yeah being put underneath mm, the skin the skin you know what is that called and what are the risk even the yes even the, yes yes yes, yes the even silicone the and yes the, the you know what area. what what are the risks associated with using silicone, silicone. and what is that called well um these are called augmentation body augmentations oh, you know okay. just like the fat swiss you're augmenting but in a more fat. natural form with yeah the fat. the fat is more natural because it's your body is your fat 
So it's permanent. Okay. Do you understand? Why the others are augmentation with the silicon si one? Yeah, the silicon. Yeah, the si silicon is synthetic. They are not part of your body, and they cannot completely become part of your body. Okay. But because it is, the body doesn't react to it, so it can just stay there quietly. But occasionally, after a long while, it could have some changes around it inside the body. So the, the silicone could be used on the breast, inside the breast to augment it, or even in the bum bum, you not know, augment yeah. it. Yeah, to, to borrow it, my word. Yeah, to, to, <laughs> so, to say the way it is, you know. <laughs> All right. So, so it could be used, uh, but you know, it's not permanent. At a point in your life, you know, you could, you, you could have failures occasionally. Oh. Yeah, but that's after a long, um, time, period, yeah, a time. long period of time, you can, you can have leakages. A long oh. after a long time, you know, because sometimes there could be manufacturing errors oh. from it. So it, the leakage could be like ten years, fifteen years, twenty years. Oh. It can just be a little. Then for the breast, the other things that could happen, it could get hardened. You know, oh. yeah. So sometimes it could be painful after a long mm. time. Mm -hmm. So in that instance. Then no, so, I'm just saying, so, I'm going to tell you that after the show. So, so in that instance, you may need to remove it. Okay. Yeah, I may need to remove it. So. All right, um, doctor, wh why, um, let me ask you about um, the, the, I'll still go back to the causes of death. Okay. Because a lot of people, like I said, I would have loved to do it. But the, the frequent um, incident death. of death yeah. is making me to like, be withdrawn kind of so what are the causes of death during or after this process okay well um the death is not frequent actually yeah are we sure it's not frequent or is it not being said well you know you know you know there are a lot of things that cause death in humans why death from cosmetic surgery is so pronounced in the media space is because the person is healthy in the first instance before going to the for the procedure okay. yeah because people can die even from little illness malaria and yeah. all that but one death from a cosmetic surgery procedure can be blown so yeah. i think that's because a lot yeah, of people are interested yeah, because, in cosmetic yeah, exactly. surgery in, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah yeah exactly, yeah, yeah, and exactly. So, so it's not as if so it's not frequent do you understand it because doesn't surgery. seem so though no, it doesn't. It doesn't. It's not frequent. I assure you, because the. But I can count. I can count like cases. Well, mm. if, if like it, the recent one that just happened. If you compare to the amount of cosmetic surgery going on in Nigeria, yeah. successful one that has. Mm. Yes, it might just be one percent. Okay. Mm. Or oh, less than that. Really? Out okay. of the hundred yeah. percent. See why I I I. Mm. So it's quite. After the show, we we'll talk. Mm. So it's quite. Is actually not frequent. Okay. I've not had that experience of that. Right. Me personally, I've not. So that's why I say it's not frequent. Okay. Okay. So I, I guess you're also asking what are the complications that could happen? That could, is it because they meet quacks or people that are not professional? Oh, well, or but even someone who's um, really, really professional, mm -hmm. we've also had a case of death from his end. Okay. Yeah, from the social media. So even though it's rare, mm -hmm. or maybe they're not just saying it. Yeah, yeah. You know, because 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 people still have that that the, there are so many myths still surrounding the process of having your body done, done. as Africans. Yes, you know, yes. people still feel like it's a taboo. Boo. But I know that there are lots of talk about yes. it, and a lot of them that have done it, they're not they talking do, yeah. about it. And they're restraining and deceiving people mm. and mm. drinking teas and, and doing exercises <laughs> and all you know? that. Mm. And then having exercises yeah. for like forever. You see, and it's not happening. What's the plywood for this one? Well, well, I know, I know, Nigeria is a very conservative society true, okay. Nigeria true. is a very conservative society so yes. people want to keep things to themselves, themselves. unlike in other judged. climes where so you don't get judged you know, like yeah, yeah exactly they talk people, about everything yeah I want people someone look at ah, this something what are they looking at you you know is on like on, is not yeah. Nigerian. But yeah, they exactly. want to have it done. Yeah, exactly. You <laughs> know? just ask them at the end of the day, they are there trying to like fix yeah, it. Yeah, right? so that's why people keep quiet about it a lot of time. Uh, for the, for the, you ask about the... Yes, what mm. could lead to death? Yes. Yes. Okay. Well, um, there are some complications that could happen from liposuction and PBL. Do not come on, like I've said earlier. Mm. Yeah, there could be some... Um, what to call blood accumulating under the skin okay. or fluid accumulating under the skin, you know, 
or infection, which is not common, mm -hmm. you know, or even if a BB or can be, be fat can become infected, which is yeah. not common though, you know. Um, sometimes the most severe of it is what we call embolism. Embolism when the fat finds its way into the bloodstream. into the bloodstream, so that 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 is not good. It doesn't happen often, but it's not good. But the most important thing about it is it has to be detected early. Okay. Once it's detected early, an appropriate management instituted. Because it stays alive. Yeah, there's possibility of surviving it. Oh. That's a, that means it's a, it's a may. Yeah, it's possible. As far as it's detected early, an appropriate measures taken. Okay. There's a high chance of surviving. Do you understand? So that's why, because of the close monitoring okay. that is required to detect it, that's why it's good to do it in places where you yeah. have a good team, yeah. you have a good team that watch closely, and you have the appropriate certified person. So how fast can one leave the hospital after the surgery? That's how the recovery fast? process. Mm, the recovery mm, process. The recovery process. Uh, for lipo without BBO. You know, a lot of times you do lipo and BBO for just lipo alone. Lipo is the one the suck fat yeah, out of. Yeah, lipo is the one you, you suck fat from different mm. parts of the body. body. To the okay. back side. The abdomen, the arm, the back, the thigh. You know. oh, and you yeah. can choose to throw it away or put it in your boots. Yeah, you can throw it away. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. You can throw it away. I can do, okay. Maybe we should start selling this. I'm telling you, <laughs> selling no, you should, you should. You should. Doctor, let's ask. Uh, do, do people donate fat food? No, 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 no. no. Fat, okay, fat. you cannot donate because I, well, I wanted my no, 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 no. my my no, friend, no, no. my <laughs> colleague, <laughs> to share. I'll be glad, I'll be glad to, to share donate. in her. No, no, yes, no, no, her fat. Because I can't can be. Can do it. The fat is unique to you. <laughs> Is it oh, to wow. you? The body is is rejected by the other person. Okay. okay. So, okay. so doctor, after this procedure, right? Is there some sort of maintenance? You know, like we've had someone that said that this dude that married this very sassy girl, mm -hmm. and then with the whole brutalicious gang, 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 mm -hmm. and then you know, my guy said after one month, babe said bring five hundred k to maintain the bomb bomb. Mm, you know, so are, are there some sort of maintenance after this process, and for how long? Mm. So that viewers can know and save more. Maintainers. Well, sometimes I get a question from clients. Do I need to maintain um, what I'm going to achieve? Yeah. Well, um, maintenance, I'm trying to understand what it actually means. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> because I don't, I, I don't, I don't see no. okay. the, the, only, the only thing we want me to talk about is you know, when you do the BBL, for an instance, okay, you have... Um, you might lose like 25 to 30 percent of the fat that was transferred okay. meaning that you still have 70 percent in there okay. uh, surviving so i mean you still have something good there okay so that can sustain yeah that still give you the nice contours mm. so but some people want it you know bigger so oh, yeah okay. some yeah, so some, some people want it bigger, so they might come back again and say, Okay, doctor, let's stop it up. Let's stop it up. Oh, like, yeah, oh. but most people don't. Okay, they're most, just contented with what has contented. given to them. Yeah, most people are just contented. So that's why I don't understand the maintenance because those who are contented, you don't need to come back. No, home. the maintenance we're talking about, we, ha we have a case where somebody said, We're oh, a celebrity, I don't want to call her name. Okay. We have this um, situation where she said, After the whole uh, surgery, she paid so much for for what is it called massage. Oh, okay. Um, then um, she has to go for massage and like every two, thing, two before weeks. Before we round up, yes. And then okay. you know there are a lot of people injecting all sorts of things too into mm. their butts. Mm. It, are there safe procedures like okay. you know? I well, don't know you if you've can. seen it's, that. It's, it's, a, you know, it's, a, it's a very good question. I'll address that. Yeah. So just let me just um, the 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 um your question was um. The massage. The massage. Yes, yes. After the procedure, that was to call aftercare. Okay. Aftercare. You know, um, the massages are good. They're part of aftercare. You know, the massages to reduce pain, reduce swelling, okay. and oh. remove fluids that would accumulate under the skin. But not done forever. Okay. Yeah, just done for the, let's say, one week, two weeks, maybe oh. eight to ten sections, six to eight, six to ten sections. And that is all. Okay. If you choose to do massage, it might just be your normal massage, spa, and all that. But it might just be that you want to suit yourself. But 
Apart from that, that's it. So yeah. after the surgery, one can go back to a normal to life, normal. live a normal life until the day God calls. Yeah, you. very, very well. Oh, you will wow. not keep in fact, some, visiting a lot, of, a lot of clients. For another check no, no, and no, all no, of no, those no, things. No, no, no. Once it's done, it's done. Oh, wow. It might Amazing. just, may, maybe just have full up for a few weeks, maybe one or two weeks, and yeah. that is it. All right. As far as you're good. Mm -hmm. In fact, a lot of time, you never see the clients again because right. they're good. Oh. They're just going about it. All right. Okay, okay, please, doctor, before we so, go, please. So talk yes. about the injections. Yes, I see yeah. lots of that. You know, they're selling lots of injections on the internet. In it, yeah. You know, and then people are buying these things to inject into their bodies. Yeah. yeah, so yeah, is have, that the safe thing to do? Well, well, you know, the market is quite big. People want to sell whatever they can. They and to... um, and every marketer or seller wants Maximize to Maximize the, yeah, the opportunity. want to convince you that this is good, but... You need to ask questions before you take any of them. Yeah. That's one. Two, um, they are also called fillers. Right. Okay. Fillers. Yes, fillers. Fillers. Oh, I hear people filling their cheeks. Yeah, exactly. Fillers. Botox. Any part of the body. Botox. Yeah, but also any part of the body can be augmented with filler. Oh. Uh, I know some people do both fillers because they want to avoid surgery. So Don't they wear out. Yeah. And, and it, it's, it, it can go well. The butt fillers. The, yes. Yeah, the, the fillers in the bomb bomb. But the problem is, um, it's temporal. Oh. All fillers are temporal because the, the, the body digests it over time. Oh. You know, the body digests it over time. So the, it's completely temporal. Okay. That doesn't mean that it's safe. Okay. There are also complications that could result from it. All right. How about the, 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 the Botox? Yeah, the, the way out. Too, mm, right? Is there any complication when you have? that yeah. stuff being injected Field, into yes, your, your face. chin mm. and all. Yeah, so like I said, there's no procedure without risk all and complications. Right. Yeah, but the fillers are just to, you know, reduce the wrinkles, oh. uh, you know, um, augment the laugh lines, you know, these laugh yeah. lines. Yeah, but they are temporal and they are not without tricks. Sometimes it could be infected. Sometimes yeah. you can inject it. And if it finds its way into the bloodstream, it's straight to the brain. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Good. So, but it's not common, though. It's not okay. common. Yeah. All right. Oh, wow. All right. Um, I think I'm going to rethink um, considering <laughs> the <laughs> cosmetic surgery as a whole. So um, that's where we wrap it up for today. But, Doctor, um, I want you to have a parting word for our viewers. Okay. Well, um, cosmetic surgery, I know it's trending. Even though Nigeria is still a little conservative society. Um, it's trending and it's it's safe to a large extent. It is safe, but if done, if done by appropriate qualified personnel, it's not without risks, but the risks is not common though. So make sure you ask questions for the right person if you decide to undergo the procedure. Thank appropriate you, personnel appropriate. like Dr. Chikoma Chijuke. Yes. So if you want to do that, you consult him by coming to us and we will direct you to him. So my co-host Ruth. Yes, mommy. <laughs> well, so we understand that the, the pressure is getting worse. Yeah. And we know that you want to really have your body done, but please, if you must have your body done, please get it done by a professional. And then Ebony Aesthetics, they're here to answer all the questions that are in your head, in your heart, to make it easier for you. Check out our social media platforms. We're going to be tagging them. And then you, so you can have more confidence and you're not throwing your money and your life away. So thank you for staying with us today. And we would be back with more gang, 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 gang gist. Thank you, Anne, for hosting Please. this show. <laughs> we want to read from you. We want to know your thoughts. That's why the program is called Your Thoughts. Drop your comment on the comment section after the show so we can read and know what your thoughts are. Thank you very much for being with us on the program today. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.